Okay, so when I learn things, oh, I'm drawing. Sorry, when I learn stuff, I like to teach people because I'm going to be a teacher. Smiley face. So today we're going to do math stuff, which is awesome. It's finance and all that fun stuff. <sighs> okay, so the first formula. I'm going in the order of my notes. We started at chapter 10, we're going back to chapter 3, which are truth tables, which are fun, and then onward to other things that are more fun than that. I, I don't know why I took this course. I would have preferred algebra. Anyways, to move on. Alright, our first formula for simple interest. Simple interest is I equals P times R times T or PERT. Yeah, okay, anyway, so the I is the interest. Do I need to write this down? I think you got this. I think you can remember this. The I is the interest earned. This is the value you are trying to get. Because the key word in your problems will be simple interest. Yes? And so, that is the number that you will get from plugging in these things. And say you were get, like, if you were to get a reverse problem, we haven't gotten any of those, but say that they give you the interest you earned. You set up something I call the triangle of awesome. And you put your I up here. And you put a line. And then you do P, line, R, line, I'm going to run out of room, T, right? And to quickly figure this out, I, I have it memorized, but when I was first learning things, it was really helpful in chemistry. Uh, it just, yeah. So say I'm looking for the T, right? I'm looking for the time it was in there. So I cover that up, and the way you would do it is you would take the interest earned, and you would divide it, divide it by... The principal, which is the original amount you put in there, and the rate, which would be how much of a percentage they give you. They give you that percentage. Okay. So, that's what you do in that case. However, I doubt we'll get to that. I doubt anyone will get to that, or anyone will ask you, because usually you're using this formula to figure out I in most cases. Okay, so let's get to a problem. Oh, did I explain it? I did a little bit. P is the principal. That's the amount you put in. So if you were to start a bank account and you were to put like $300 in, that's the principal. Like, I have $300, yay! You walk to the bank. Yeah, there we go, here's the bank. And they're like, maybe take your money. And you're like, yeah, totally, go for it. So you deposit $300. And that's your principal. Okay? Then, oops, I can't keep on the screen. Then the R is how much interest the bank gives you. And the reason the bank gives you interest is because the bank doesn't keep that much money with them. So when you deposit this $300, someone will come in and they'll, this say Joe over here, he comes into the bank. He's like, da 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 I need to withdraw money. And they'll give him your money without really giving it to them. Because they'll give you your money back plus interest. And that's where the interest comes from. So, say, um, I don't know. Wasn't a good interest rate. We'll just do we'll do 0.5 percent. Okay, cool. So that's say your bank's interest rate is that. So when you come back, say you come back, I don't know, three years later, you're like three years in the future, and you look at your bank account which you haven't touched because you're a good citizen with a savings account and you realize that you need to save your money. So you go and this is how you would calculate this. 
you wouldn't know this, but it would be 300 times 0.5%. And that would be, in your calculator, 0 0.5 over 100, which equals 0 0.005. Okay? And then you would multiply that by 3. So this would be that number right there. And so you would go look at your bank account and you would have 300 times 0 .005 times 3 and you would have $304.05. And you'd be like, holy smile. I just made four bucks by putting money in my account. Okay, so let's do another problem. Because that's all that is. And that's pretty simple. That's, that's exactly what happens. And you probably, anyone with a savings account probably understands that. So say this guy, names, his name is Jack. Right? And Jack decided to open a savings account. So he put in $600. And then his bank is the same because that's where I got the 0.5% in the first place. <laughs> His interest at the bank is 0.5%. Okay? So I want you to, like, pause this video if you're watching it after I tell you this. Now, there's two parts. There's A part and B. Cool. I love using worksheets. Okay. So, oh, I forgot to mention something. Whatever. We'll do this one first, because this one, I'll explain the next part later. So, this one's four years. How much interest will he have on his account in four years? So, pause it and do it. Unless you can do it really quickly. I'll give you, like, you know, whatever. Okay, whatever. So, let's set up the equation. 600 times 0 .005 times 4 equals 600 times 0 .005. Oh, I wish I could do that in my head. 12. So your answer, I guess, your answer on this one would be 12. But if we ask for the complete answer, like the maturity value or something, then we would ask you to add these two and you would get six hundred and twelve dollars. Really? Someone's calling me? Oh, hold on. What up? Okay, so that was my boyfriend calling. So basically, uh train of thought. Okay. So I think I said it because that's what my paper says. If you were to get the maturity value or they were to add it, ask you to add it together, you'd put 612. But for this purpose, you would put $12 as your interest. Okay. The next problem says, how much will he have earned in seven months? All right? Now you notice the difference between these two is that this one's in years and this one's in months. And you want to put everything in years. In, the, in this scenario, anyways. So, that one was fine for four. And in this one, you would do what? And all the kids are like, 12! Yeah, good job. So, this one would be seven over 12. Now, if you get days, say they were to ask you for 14 days, you 14 over 365. If you didn't know that, get these numbers in your head. Because that's how many months and how many days are on our year. So how would you do this one? Pause your video. Do it if you need to. I'm going to go talk about it right now. Because I want to. This would be 600 times 0 .005 times 7 over 12. Now however you calculator does it. Like I have a TI-84 Texas Awesome Instrument thing. Whatever. So, with this, I just put in parentheses. So I have 600 times 0 .005 times parentheses 7 divided by 12, close parentheses. And it should look something like, oh, can you see that? I don't know if you can. 
Something like that. If you can't see that, <laughs> it looks like this. It looks exactly like that. 600 times, well, these little asterisk, okay? And then 0 0.005, then it's asterisk, and then parenthesis, 7 divided by 12, close parenthesis. That's what it looks like. Hope you can see that. Okay. So your answer is $1.75. If they were to ask you for the maturity value, you would put $600 and $1.75. $601.75. Okay, awesome. Is that it? That's it for simple interest. I'm probably going to break it off. However, um, I'm just going to continue filming. I'm going to film the rest of my unit. So just click on the next one. I'll put a little playlist going thing. And this was the end of your simple interest. Lovely on. Wow, that's a messed up L. Let's do that again. G-H-A-N-N. What? Okay, that's it.